Hey Adventurers, this is Bruno from WBJ's Adventures and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of this amazing place called Gator World located in, in Wildwood, Florida. So at first we kind of got lost. Uh, we went into this neighborhood that the GPS sent us to. We couldn't find a place but then we got into a neighborhood in which the guys told us it wasn't Gator World. Uh, it was a very weird neighborhood. There was a guy there that told us like, oh, you didn't find Gator World but you found the Gatorhood and we started laughing and he showed us the right place. So as soon as we got on the road, we found the place. You will be able to recognize the place because of the entrance. There is a big sign saying Gator World and you're gonna see the place where you have to stop. And of course, there's admission. So as you guys can see, adults pay $22, kids pay $12, and under two years old is free. So as you can see, uh, this is like a drive through gator park. You drive through and you see all the gators, like the big ones, but you can go inside and check out some of the little ones and you can also feed them. Uh, I'll show you guys in just a little bit. So that's pretty much it for the big ones. It's not a very big park. It's a small drive through park. Of course, they do bite. You gotta be aware of that. So at first when we got there, we saw the baby gators. They are right outside. Uh, you can see them. They are in the little cage with some water and some vegetation and you can record them. You can take pictures with them, but you cannot hold them. But there is one inside which you can hold. Which is that one that I'm petting right now. And that's my first time seeing a gator, you know, in front of me. To be honest, it was kind of frightening, but it was it was very cool. You know, it was a, a very nice experience. Inside, they do have uh, this place in which you can take pictures with that gator that you can actually hold because that's like the, the the only gator you can hold and they do have the eggs so you can see uh, it's inside of a aquarium and they do have this big gator I actually forgot the name of this gator I believe it's called Big L something like this it was a gator that used to live in the region and it's one of the biggest they've ever had there just look at the size of this beast So that's the area in which you can feed the gators. There is a guy there that guides you through it. He tells you a little bit of the story of those gators and gives you a, a fishing pole with a little sausage on the end of it so you can feed the gators. It doesn't have a sharp uh, hook, of course, so you don't have to hurt them. They just bite it off and you just have that feeling of feeding an alligator. They also have a little zoo in which you can pet like chickens and turkeys and little goats. Look at this one, that one was sleeping. I went to bother it a little bit because it was too cute not to be bothered, right? So they do have little goats, uh, little, little animals like bunnies too. And you can pet them, you can brush them just like this little guy I'm brushing right now. They have many, many bunnies, all sizes and colors. It's a great place to take your kids and to have fun with them, to show them a little bit of the animals and to let them, you know, get to know nature and get to be in touch with nature a little more. It's an excellent place. It's very well rated on Yelp and TripAdvisor. And of course, at the end, they have a sink with uh, soap and first aid if you need some. But you always have to wash your, hand, wash your hands after you're done because of bacteria and everything. It was an amazing place. It was a short trip, as you guys can see. I would definitely recommend you guys to go there and take a look at this amazing place. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you on the next adventure.